Hello, what's happening? William Johnson here. Playing in 6-8, for instance, a groove in a contemporary worship situation, Cajon and worship. For instance, Now, that groove was in 6-8, and I was just counting in my head, picking a tempo, right? There's basically two pulses that I'm playing. One, two. I know I'm counting in 6-8. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if you think about it, if you were to clap your hands or tap your foot as you're playing, it would be a one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Especially if I'm doing it as a waltz type of thing. Splitting it up in triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three. Bot, dot, 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 dot. So think about two light accents, the pulse, right? All right. So what's typical in a lot of contemporary worship is that the kick, the bass drum, is on beat one and the snare is on beat four, right? So you can practice by counting out loud and getting good at that. And just by doing that and counting out loud, you can you can probably play, I don't know, 100, 6, 8 worship songs. <laughs> the other thing is that you're, you're paying attention to dynamics. And hopefully you can start hearing accents, like what is accented on the worship leader if they're on an acoustic guitar or on a piano. Boom, da, ding, da, boom, boom. Or the vocals, okay? So, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Practice that right there. And one, two, three, four. Count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set a metronome. Set it for like five minutes. Just do that straight, counting out loud. There's two things we need to get used to when we're playing in different time signatures. Number one, we need to get very used to the pattern of that time signature. That sounds like something that I said is very simple, but it is not. It, or it's simple, but it's not done in practice, put in practice. In other words, common time is 4-4. Four, four. Many people are used to songs that are in 4-4 four, four because you, we've grown up listening to it over and over and over and over. And we're used to the pattern of four beats and in some kind of pattern or accents within that pattern cycling over. That's why stuff like 7 8, 9 8, 5 4, 3 4, which for some 3 4 might not be a big issue, but why it becomes difficult. We can live in 4 4 all day long. We grow up with the blues, rock, pop. I mean, you name a lot of folk music. But when it comes to these other things, we're not used to hearing it as much and not used to just getting to the one right after six. We want to revert back to four because it's what we're used to. OK, so the two things we need to do is, number one, we just need to get used to hearing six, eight over and over. So by practicing this one, two, three, four, five, six, you're not only practicing how to play a groove in six, eight, which that's not the only groove, but you're also you're uh, exposing yourself. You're normalizing in your mind and memorizing uh, hearing the, the pattern of six, eight. So the more you're just used to getting to six and going to one in that pattern you will be comfortable and you don't have to think about it as much and then now you can start playing you know crash and uh, snare and other variations within the rhythm if you have a hard time playing in certain time signatures sometimes something very easy to do is just turn on a metronome set it to that time signature and just listen to it if you're driving somewhere turn on the metronome to 6-8 get a metronome turn it on to 6-8 or find a song that's in 6-8 Listen to that song over and over and sing the beat. If the beat is do 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 da do 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 boom do 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 da, play the song over again. Sing the beat. You are now it's in, you're internalizing it. Okay, it's important. There are times where if I have to play when I was getting used to playing in three four, when I was getting used to playing in five eight and five four, and I've had to play in seven four and seven eight. I just turned on the metro seven eight playing in seven eight was not n normal to me, so I had to just turn. I just turned on a metronome to seven eight, and it's not fun. It's a very boring thing to do, but it works just for like five minutes a day. I just turn on the metronome and get used to where it goes. Or whatever it is, you know, it's not a good way to count to seven. But anyways, I'm getting used to the if it's five. I'm getting used to hearing that boop after five, okay? 
You do the same thing in 6-8. So practice, set the metronome to 6-8, slow, practice playing the bass on one and the snare on four, while the other hand just plays the triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six, trip, ballet, trip, ballet, trip, ballet, trip, ballet, okay? That's one exercise that you can do to play a basic 6-8 rhythm that it, you hear quite a bit in worship music. Hopefully this uh, lesson helped you out. If it did, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and I'll see you soon.